Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Office Bloke Aiden. Thanks, well, well done for paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> um, sports edition. Uh, hopefully if you're into sports, don't forget to give us a subscribe. It does help us grow, right? Yeah. Yeah. Bit more time for a, a bit time for more NHL. Yeah. The last NHL one we watched was pretty good, wasn't it? It was, yeah. yeah some angry people, it. didn't they? I enjoyed it. <laughs> I do like watching NHL as well. It's an exciting, Same. very exciting yeah. sport. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of... Uh, Anger when it's played in a, in some players, right? Yeah, as we say, there's just everything involved in it. Stick everything, high speed. You, everything you want in sport is in that one game. I agree, hundred percent agree. Let's get into this one. Uh, the twenty most embarrassing NHL moments of all time. <laughs> Everyone loves some. Yeah, Everyone loves yeah, something yeah. to laugh at. Unless you're on this video. Yeah, let's go. These are the twenty most embarrassing NHL moments of all time. And starting at number 20, Steven Stamkos was all geared up for a penalty shot. Oh boy, look out for the spin move. That was until he slipped on a banana and crashed to <laughs> the ice. Is this dude for real? What a klutz. When he went down, he obviously lost his edge. Unfortunately, Stamkos wasn't able to stay uh, on his feet long geez. enough to get a shot off. Unlike Daniel Sedin, who at least managed to take the shot. At play number 19, instead of using a hockey stick, Sedin busted out a magic wand and somehow missed the wide open net. Whoa. How is he missing? Daniel Sedin with an empty net. Daniel, I my man, you might. I think that'll be harder to miss than put yeah, it in. Yeah, you would have thought so. Yeah. Probably Just in case of, you know, I mean, I'm not. Obviously, not, the puck was probably flipping. Yeah, I'm not a hockey specialist, but that looks like uh, the sort of thing that most people who play hockey would be able to sink easy. Yeah, 100%. You want to work on that accuracy and maybe take Craig Smith with you. Because during moment number 18, Smith attempts to roof the puck top shelf. Oh, this oh, hand man. went up and over the net. It didn't go in the goal. It gets a little too overzealous. He'll be sure to get some razzing from the boys in the locker room after that debacle. Also likely to get some teasing from teammates and fans alike is Patrick Lane. In play 17, after scoring on his own net, Lane wants nothing more but to run and hide. Now for Letestu. Letestu wide, steps into a shot, big rebound! <laughs> Looks like he was trying to score. It does, doesn't it? put it in his own net. But hey, at least he didn't cry. Shooting and scoring on your own net is humiliating. Of a goal as well. Throwing the puck in your own net might be even more embarrassing. Nah. Just like in moment number 16, Dmitry Orlov was defending in front when he tried to swat the puck and put it in the back of the net. Oy vey. And he just puts it right into the net. Although certainly unintentional, Orlov was feeling a great deal of shame after that blunder. Yeah. Next up at moment 15, Andrew Peak, normally a very capable oh. skater, slips and slides all over the ice, much to the crowd's delight. It doesn't take much to whip a hockey crowd into a frenzy. You can see those little buttons there that pop off the blade and as he got to the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Flyers fans get a kick What's off that? the whiff of Brad Marchand. Have a look at moment 14. Brad Marchand must score to keep the game going. Marchand overskates the puck. Yeah. He touched it, though, with his stick. What's Marchand, mortified what by that? the situation, flew down the tunnel as quickly as possible. What a goofball. The next embarrassing moment went well, down. You can't just go, and can't go back. Again. Just get it. Uh, I guess you got to keep your well, mind I mean, forward. Well, I mean, to be fair, if it's like the same as the rules, you can't even like go past the blue line, can you, and then come back. Yeah. So I guess Touched it, though, with his stick. But you didn't have the ball. Marshawn, mortified by the situation, flew down the tunnel as quickly as possible. So what a goofball. Off. The next embarrassing moment went down at a Rangers game. Check this out at number 13. Anderson was our guy. And man, did he have a rough fall before the game even began. Oh, Spotlight was on him as he crashed and burned. It Speaking of rough fails, this epic goalie spill will sure go down in history. <laughs> it made our list at moment number 12. David Riddick was knocked down like a bowling pin after jumping for the puck. Timber! He's just pure Moving from one embarrassing goalie fail to another, next we see Tuka with a decision he will soon regret. It's moment number 11. Rask leaves the net for the bench. Only problem is the game is tied. Yikes, how do you forget the score, Tuka? Jesus. That was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> mass, but not... Massive jumbo <coughs> jump probably right there. Yeah, that says yeah. the score as well. Not as terrible as that. Steve Mason's attempt to stop this puck. Tip by Chimera gets the puck, he deeply scores! In our 10th play, we are simply abashed. Perhaps Steve had a pizza on Jesus. his mind and lost focus. We're not really sure, but uh. the embarrassment has got to be sky high. That horrendous goal reminded us a lot of the travesties that occurred with other goalies around the league. Getting a side, Toskala thinks he has that, and he just scoots to the
Moment number nine. Vesa Toskala looked terrified as he saw the tumbling muffin head his way. Panic set in, and the results were catastrophic. And that's nothing compared like that? to moment number eight. Jonathan Quick led in his award winner by attempting to clear the puck. Oh, oh, and chase, man. Man. Swing and a miss. Swing Things and miss. didn't go as planned, and Jonathan quickly realized he was going to be on Sports Center's not top 10 list. Oops. <laughs> Continuing with embarrassing goalies at number seven. Tonight from our Coca-Cola Super Slow Mo, how about this puck? Scott Darling left his crease to make an incredibly foolish play. Bouncing, rolling, goes off the heel of his stick. It's plays like that which make a man want to retire. Why Next is it up net? is moment yeah. number six. That's scary, isn't it? A lot of people stop breathing on the Ducks bench. Set him. Oh, oh man. <laughs> we even see the incredible Martin Brodeur, Martin Brodeur with yeah. a bewildering play. Holy smokes, that was awful. Does that count as his goal? That wasn't even on target. <laughs> Are there any other goalie plays that could be more embarrassing than that mistake? There is just one. Number five on our list. It's the goalie for the Detroit Red Wings, Nijelkovic. Thought was there anyway. The puck was going wide. Maybe just let that one go wide. <laughs> Who has the cream of the crop. Mate, from I reckon That's... he can't even do that if he tries it again, ever. <laughs> Every time he hits that normal, he's boom, gone. Yeah, mate, right? yeah, yeah. He can never do yeah. that again. Embarrassing goalie moments. That was an ugly play for sure. But it doesn't top this dandy from Patrick Berglund. Check out moment number four. <laughs> Berglund was in his prime would, shooting position, but wound up looking like a clown as he fell flat on his face. <laughs> he couldn't help but blush a little after that one. How's your nose, buddy? Luckily, that misfire didn't cost his team much, unlike Dan Boyle's brutal play. And real quick, if you're liking this style of video, make sure to subscribe. We'll be covering every hockey moment just like this. The way it's center, the abs come up ice. So O'Reilly chasing it down. But uh, Murray there. And then it's in the net. The game, the, game the, third, over, the game is over. The game is over. Most embarrassing moment ever. Boyle managed to score a rather disturbing goal. All Dan could do was lower his head in shame. You feel bad for a guy like Dan who cost his team the game. It will be hard to top that train wreck, but this next scene is simply intolerable. The second most embarrassing moment occurs when Dion Fanoff wanted to drop the gloves, but got dropped himself. <laughs> <laughs> he was so incredibly blissful. <laughs> <laughs> right right next to their bench I know, right? I yeah. <laughs> what could we possibly have in store for you after a oh. play like that and finally the most embarrassing moment oh. of all time is brought to you by your boy patrick stefan this dude misses the wide open net with Too nobody casual. around him that's the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen patrick stefan you should be embarrassed for what you just did that does not belong in the say you should be in europe embarrassed I thought he was a cheap show. <laughs> Patrick Stefan, you should be embarrassed for what you just did. That does not belong in the National Hockey League. And to make matters worse, well, you can watch and see what happens. And again, oh, another yeah, beautiful uh, goal by Alex Gimsky. He makes the move on Turco and beats him cleanly. Talk about a tragedy unlike any other in the history of the NHL. All we can <laughs> oh say God. is wow. See you next time. That must have been a what's it where he's gone up the other end there and scored. That must have been a playoff or something. It must have been an important yeah. game. That other one as well, it was 0-0 zero, zero when he just put it in his own yeah. net in overtime until like they win the game. Yeah, that's the end of the game, yeah. He's uh no, it's great, isn't it though? Yeah. Hey, no, best well, one there is when he fell over, I think, when he threw his gloves down, threw his gloves down straight and straight over hundred percent, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that's actually like that's definitely the most embarrassing. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I can't even skate. Well, I can skate, but not like at these levels. Yeah, no. He's like, I uh, used to be able to skate, all right. Yeah. But I don't think I could now if I tried. It's same. It's one of them. I'd probably get around the I ring. I feel like you need to keep mm. doing it. To, like, yeah. if you don't do it for a while, you're not going to be able to just keep yeah. doing it again. He's balancing the movement of these yeah. guys and the speed and the, everything about him. You, you see, they're just casual at the end. I mean, loads of them. I guess when you're playing sport, there's loads of times you've got to do something. It's not worked out right. Yeah. But some of them there just no, there's no excuse for no them. excuse. He was just too casual at the end where he was going to flick it in. Then I'll try to be show, showboating. Missed it completely. But some good ones on there. Enjoyed that. Yep. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll yeah. see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.